Hello and welcome to Present Times on Linux and today I'm going to have a quick look at this why you should not use Linux over Windows and we're going to take this apart one by one using VirtualBox Linux is not e installing Linux is not easy okay you said about your boot we'll come back to that later that's okay but installing Linux isn't easy so I have here two VMs a Windows 10 VM and a PC loss VM it's one of my Trinity one it's quite a big ISO not as big as the 5 gig of Windows 10 but we'll go there anyway so we'll start off <coughs> the Windows 10 one and we'll start off the PC Linux OS one I've given both of these just 2 gig of RAM so I'm just going to boot that straight into the live session for PC Linux OS so I'm going to give Windows a head start ok so we're at this starting screen and we've got United Kingdom net so I'll have that install now boom ok and let's wait for the thinking and my mouse is locking up a little bit there we go I'm on the other side <coughs> So, UK keyboard, connect, right, it's asking me for the next bit here, I don't have a product key, next, um, home, singly, so I'll do 10 Pro, next, okay, now I can do the install on this one, well, I would have two, but that doesn't matter, next, okay, I accept the agreement, next, uh, da, da, da. Another one there, next, and next, e free space, next. So that's copying the Windows files over, and it's getting ready for installation. This one's computing total size. And small machine, cancel that out, and Okay, both are now installing. I will pause this and I'll come back when one of the two have installed and see where we're going. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, uh, Windows is at 71% of uh, getting fold ready for installation. And this Linux OS is doing a bit for the uh, bootloader. I just want probably fun and finish. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another interesting thing to note is uh, Windows is actually booting or installed into an SSD partition uh, using VirtualBox and uh, the Linux isn't. It's on spinning rust. Uh, you can see this in. Okay, that's finished. Uh, another thing as well, as you can see, live environment here. So I could actually use this and add stuff before doing anything, but I haven't done that. I've just done it as a straight run. So we'll restart uh, the PC last. So it's. As the install isn't truly finished yet, to be fair. But as I was saying before, if we go to Oracle VirtualBox and I'll click on the Windows 10, you can see it's gone to my SSD, Windows 10, and it is the SSD. And this is going to Twin Home Present VirtualBox based Linux OS, which is on my spinning Rust. So, we've got the machine now rebooting. Let me to remove the live CD key, so I will do that. And we'll get things ready for the uh, first login. So, oh, 
Oh, I woke up today with a bit of a show to eight, but there we go. Okay, it's installing updates. On the other side, I am in, uh, in the part where we do the um, time zone, etc, etc. I'm just using the mouse to run down here. Next. Next. Okay, Windows is rebooting, so I'll let that carry on. In fact, I'll help it along. Just to say, well, like, you know, like. Okay. Okay, and I'm in light for in. I am ready to work. Let's see if I don't put in the wrong password, that is. There we go. And the other side is getting devices ready. <coughs> okay, so Linux took about, what? Five, ten minutes, something like that. And as you can see, all the drives are loading, and that's another thing that he had a complaint about. It was about drivers. Yeah. So why this is here like this? We'll uh, install some guest editions using the guest editions installer baked into the ISO. Uh, the ISO I'm using for um, Windows, by the way, is the latest ISO. Um, let me come down here. Well, Windows 10. And you will see it is the 1909, so it's September ISO, and I'm using the October ISO for mine. So there is a much difference in the newness of the two things, but both are pretty much up to date, I should imagine. So we'll let those carry on. Well, I'll have a look at H top in a minute to see how my little machine is doing, as it is doing three things at once there. It's recording. And uh, it's compiling and uh, it's building Windows, so hold on. It's just about to do four things, I imagine. Boom. And as you can see, all four threads here are getting battered. We're a load of five. So, yep. I reckon one, one virtual box is using two threads and the other one's using two threads. I've only asked them to use two CPU cores each. So they're both picking on both all the threads. So there'll be probably one actual CPU core and one thread, and the other one will be using another CPU core and one thread. Which is why I have a load of five. Woohoo! Happy days. So right, let's close the queue up. Uh, it says new output to place are optional. And they have been installed completely and uh, we can test this by going to control F on that one and as you can see yes where's your box is done so I really do have oops went to grab a corner there let's move over wind 10 shit over oh I well, read that lot windows you can tell can't you and we'll drag that down oops I don't mean to do this, don't know much. Oops, 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 oops. Move over, move over. There we go. <coughs> It'll do. Okay. So, you know my Trinity. I've got development tools and entertainment maths and science, which is LibreOffice. So, I've already got Office installed on this. I've got Car Games, PySol. Uh, KDE, I've got Darktable, GIMP, uh, so audio players, 
and media players and Windows is in for its second reboot um, Office here, Office LibreOffice so was that any harder to install Windows than it was to install Linux and I could choose any distribution ok maybe not Arch or Gen 2 after Bass or Linux from scratch let's not get silly here but any distribution, Silent OS, I could choose Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate or Mate, I could have chose Debian I could have chose any I chose mine because it's the first one I actually come to in the list you watched, you saw I thought I'd just use that, why not? but I literally could have chosen any in fact I could probably reinstall PC Linux OS again in the same time it takes this to do just a moment booting so yeah, Windows is uh, no more difficult to install than Linux and Linux is no more difficult to install than Windows so let's just debunk that off right now right, because that's just bullshit right uh, I've already gone for non family I oh, and now we're at the region. What, well, United Kingdom? Next, just a moment. So, I've still got Pistol Linux running OS here. <coughs> in fact, it does updates. So, I can look at those in a moment. So, let's do that. <coughs> United Kingdom. Now, didn't I choose the United Kingdom on this? already okay so it's organized blah 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 uh Marco upgrades and we've got all these lovely 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 upgrades mark and I apply them and apply and I'll minimize that out the road bring that forward so now we have some important setup to do so we'll carry on that and we're still running <coughs> Uh, now let's see what is new from Windows and it's got network at the top so we'll see just a moment now I'm waiting for just a moment this is so long I am grabbing my coffee hmm set up for personal use and my mouse stuck there Next, uh, offline account. Oh, and it's on into my services limited experience. So, this is both, uh, yeah, it's on in create account with storage, etc. No, just give me that. Who is going to use this PC? I am. Next. And a password. Next. And another password. Next. A security case, June 103. Wow, okay. What's your first pet's name? Uh, I don't know, Doby. Doby. I've never had anything named Doby. Well, it's a good question. Since we were born, well, everybody can see I'm a brummy. Well, uh, brummy. I know it isn't this city, but I don't care. Uh, child of nickname. Well, hung isn't good for the stream. I don't know. Uh, name of the city your parents met. Name of this cousin. Name of the school. Oh, I ain't got. Uh, 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 uh. Just a, an area of Birmingham that I lived in when I was about three, but there wasn't a school called that, so it's just to get things through. <coughs> uh, I think it's assistant to climb. I don't know, I should have just went okay. Uh, you sound on space recognition. I accept whatever, blah blah. Oh, here we go. 
Uh, meanwhile, what's my... Oops. Oh, change screens. What's my piece of Linux that I sort to? Uh, it's downloading. It's going to take about 17 minutes for its updates. On my extremely poor... 490 KB a second streaming... Yeah, whatever. I stream brave, that's why. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, form a device or whatever, blah. Yeah, oh, yeah, go on, just take it all, go on. Right. Yeah, you can, yeah, I'm not going to be doing much. Yes. Oh, this has made Microsoft really, really happy. Advertising on Windows, what the actual. <coughs> It's one of the kind of things that annoys me about Ubuntu is having the affiliate, affiliate uh, Amazon link. No need for it. This might take several minutes. Well, I've got several minutes if I have to go about 15 minutes. So, we'll take that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do, do, do. In fact, I'll be back when something exciting has happened. Okay, almost there. And uh, it's come to a desktop. Yay! Well, it didn't take too long at all, did it now? Right. Enter a web address, blah, blah, open store. And now in features, this could take a few minutes. Oh, so it hasn't really finished. It's just... Um, thing going, and I've just got like, torn clicked in there and there's no sign of me actually doing anything so can I scroll? Oh okay, oh okay. Work on two apps at once? No. Really? Uh news stories, blah blah. So we are connected to the internet and so on. So we can kill off edge, which is what the browser is. I'm going to see what we've got for the money. <coughs> of which I've paid zero pounds for. Uh, and this is not activated by the way. Okay, it's so just productivity office. Uh, we've got some Skype stuff there. Let's have a look at Word. And it's gone straight to Edge. Worldoffice.com I mean, well, even though I'm downloading here, I can do the same here. I can go to uh, Office and load up each version of Word. Oops. Once I get my mouse there, that's my fault. <coughs> and it's asking me to create an account. So I can't use Office unless I sign into a Microsoft account. Yeah, no. Meanwhile, on the other side, and it is booting up, we have LibreOffice. <coughs> And now come that's moved over. So, yeah. And I can actually type away locally. Because it's already on the machine. Oh dear Windows, what are we doing here? Better can just minimise that. Okay, what else? 3D viewer. Let's see what that's about. And, uh, yeah, believe it or not, off is this. Okay, welcome screen, okay. Uh, help, and, uh, control settings and feedback. No about. Oh, okay. All right. <coughs> Boo, alarm and clocks, calculator. Well, it's, it's a calculator, isn't it? Yeah, well, can't play that. Uh, all the material. And I'm just looking through here. OneDrive, OneNote, Paint 3D, People, Photos, Sticky Notes, blah blah. <coughs> Microsoft Store, and it is a very vanilla thing over here. Your emails you won't play. Uh, photo, Microsoft Store, and whatever those 
or for downloads there. Uh, ease of access, PowerShell uh, Windows system. Let's have a look. We've got command prompt. Of course, command prompt being DOS or CMD. Uh, there's no new name and dancing. No, of course not. Is it? Oh, it just flicks through the two jingle, so that's no good. Oh, come on, line on Windows. Well, yeah, I know about PowerShell. Uh, ease of use, Windows system, let's double look. Task Manager, yeah, let's have a look at Task Man. Remember, I'm only running two gigs of RAM, so. There are no running apps. More details, come on. Uh, Tasman is, uh, yeah. Major 100% usage of the CPU, look at that. 97, 81. Speed 2.4 gigs, yeah. Visual processors, yeah. Up time, 12 minutes, as you can see. Uh, memory, 1.3 out of 2 gig. A lot of it swapping about, I should imagine. Happy three, blah blah. So status, that's both up to 0.0, but there we go. I'm using 98, 99, and 98 meg. Uh, on this one, although it's actually doing something, I'm not quite sure if I did put a stop in this but we'll have a look anyway we're in at 362 meg hmm we should not be green okay it's got command not found so that's my fault I haven't put it on the um, ISO uh, I can't really put it on the ISO until that's done Now I could have chosen any of these updates, but I chose to do them all. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let me have a look. So two notifications. Uh, adding new features and searching for display driver. Oh, that's a thought I have not put in. Guest editions on this. Ooh, naughty alley. <coughs> Right, I'm just waiting for Windows to catch up to say it's actually got an ISO. But there is something happening with Windows because there's a lot of network and things happening. So, hold on. What is Windows doing? Uh, what are you doing? Um... So I'm connected to somewhere, and a lot of somewhere is at that. Wow. I know what I'm connected to on this one. On this one I'm connected to NLUUG, and only NLUUG. And possibly the Trinity server as well. Possibly. So what's all this junk then? Really? Let's rerun that. Let's see if any of them were closed. No, still done it. Now, didn't I just ask it to install the guest edition CD? <coughs> this PC, boom. Oh, it's there, but no auto run or anything like it. Okay, let's open up that. And, uh, 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 uh. I do believe it's that one there, so we'll start that off. Uh, next, next, next. Uh, I didn't have this. I didn't have this. Uh, yeah, always trust what I'm on about. Install.
Oh, oh and, I, and I have to reboot. I didn't have to reboot on Linux. Why do I have to reboot? So now this is going to go for its third or fourth reboot. Third, I think, in fairness. Oh, wow. Well, come on, just restart anyway. But you might have stuff running. I do have stuff running. Don't care. Run on necessity, so I'm expecting a really quick boot time from you, Mr. Windows. Uh huh. Okay. And it's still looking at the network. Why? Why are you looking at the network for? Okay, login screen, fair dinkums. <coughs> Welcome. Remember, this is running off an SSD, not. Real metal, or, or I will be still waiting for it to boot. Real metal, I meant spinning disk. Spinning rust, the normal hard drive platter system. Uh, meanwhile, I'm still doing the. the with a faster internet, of course, I'm running it. That, that is literally my top speed for the internet. It really is. So let's, uh, no, we don't do that. Oh dear. I screwed up the old Windows environment, there I am. But never mind, it doesn't resize nicely, but there you go. So now, to get stuff in parity with mine, uh, well, we got settings, Bluetooth manager, yeah, I imagine to have that. Uh, Sip user, so this is a file manager, time shift, uh, system restore on here, maybe, maybe. Uh, okay, so we showed that it had office, so let's bring up Edge. It's the only browser there, I'm afraid, sorry about that. And yeah, it is going to be a bit slower, mainly because. You know, yeah, browser feature, yeah. All right. <coughs> Uber office, download, download, whatever that is. Windows 6.3.3, which is the current one. Download that. And what the f actual? Okay, we'll save that. So, Windows is now downloading Office. And, uh, yeah, already built in here, so I've got all my tools already. I'm just updating them. So, let me see. What was the second? Complication on setting up. You have got to be taking the. So, seriously, see what 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 complicated stuff have I had to set up? I had the tool to install the VirtualBox guest editions, which I have done, which I can do just by going boom. Screen resources, job done. Boom, back again. Screen resources. Tells you the resolution and the refresh. Job done. So, what complication in setting up? I have now having to download Office from a website. I didn't have to do that. I can just get everything from this package manager here. Anything? So, you can't detect your exact location like right now. Like Right, right now, it's telling me, we'll, we'll use it when we can't detect your exact location, like right now. Like right now, it can't detect where I am. Oh, isn't that a shame? You don't need to know that, where I am. You know I'm in the UK because I chose a UK keyboard. I said I was in the UK because that's all the settings I've chosen. So what do you need more than that? You need my address? Yeah, that's not happening. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, still downloading from the mirrors. 26 minutes. 
got about 14 or 16 minutes for my other downloads to go. Uh, I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to give myself another cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, all good. This is going to be one long ass video. Okay, I'm back. Um, LibreOffice is still downloading on Windows. And, uh, oops. I'll come back to that in a mo. And on the Linux side of things, yeah, it's installing all its updates. So, uh, for some reason, this is going right into download, and I didn't ask it to download again. So I don't know why, unless I accidentally refreshed the screen. So anyway, yes, those are the Nvidia drivers going over, new ones. Uh, new kernel firmware, blah blah. So, we're on at that. My CPU is ramping up again. So, we've still got six minutes for LibreOffice to download. In the meantime, I've just installed more or less a brand new OS over the top of my other one. First, that's what it does. Linux kernel 5.3.11 Remember that's running on spinning rust so the uh, updates won't be that big but you can see some high disk activity and if you notice on the window side there is some major disk activity going on down here uh, not quite sure what that's all about but yep some major disk activities reading writing like a mother and Oh, Linux side, meh. It's uh, writing a lot. Okay, so there will be a bit of time here for the Linux side because it's got to build the uh, driver for the NVIDIA to replace the uh, 430.501 that was on that side. So, yeah, my Linux comes with the uh, NVIDIA drivers out the box. <coughs> Uh, Windows doesn't, you will have to hunt down the driver for that, or it comes with a NVIDIA driver of sorts. So, yeah. This is fun. And the next argument was something about workflow. Well, being as both of these got OpenOffice, that won't change. Open, uh, sorry, LibreOffice is uh, LibreOffice. Right? Right? Hmm, oh, I see. Yeah, my well, CPU is definitely ramping up. Let's have a look at our desktop again to see what's happening. Uh, definitely getting punished there. A load of, well, we did drop down to 3 at one time, but yeah, 4.82, so yeah, we are kicking backside. And this is only a little dual core 4 thread i5 from 2013 2014. <coughs> so, yes, this is fun. Perhaps I'll drop the shell because I'm using one extra stuff that I shouldn't be. There we go. Oh, another 50 seconds or so for Office to be downloaded. Not installed, just downloaded. So. And notice it doesn't use the internet as aggressively as Linux does. I was getting 300 and some odd while... Way, scanning. So that's nearly done, and it is, so we can open up the folder in that, and close that, are you sure I want to close all tabs, yep, so there's the window, there's the Windows installer for LibreOffice, <coughs> okay let's open that up. Preparing to install. Well, I can close that window now. Okay, uh, next. 
and next and next I'm not even touching the stuff here yet I mean I could still be writing books and doing everything here in the time that this is done I mean setting up really come on can we just say that argument is absolutely and officially debunked uh, yes oh god right down Oh, I'm not going to bother saving that. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry people, this is turning out to be built more boring than I thought it would be. Uh, Bitwarden's a, a password security application where it encrypts all your passwords and so on. Got a advanced icon thing. So we are going to address these. So yeah, the workflow is really hampering me at the minute after... I remember people get Windows loaded, pre-installed on all their PCs. But if they do have to reinstall from scratch again, and that was one of the arguments on that, Linux is hard to install, well, n no, it really isn't. As you can see, it's done. And it's all up to date. Boom. And uh, we, we should just, just finish for LibreOffice. So now I should have LibreOffice Writer, so we can click on that. So someone tell me then how that So someone tell me then that that and that is different workflow. Someone please tell me because, you know, I'm thick as pig shit here. What, what, what's the difference? Right, so I'm learning 6.3, yes or no. What's only 6.3 here, as you probably saw in the boot up. So yeah, well that that that, that is absolutely debunked, isn't it? <coughs> uh, all the shortcuts will be the same between the two offices. Yes, I know about Microsoft Office, but I'm not paying out whatever it is to get a standalone version of Office. So. Well, that's been debunked. Installing, setting up, sorry, but that's, that's just lies. 
Let's have a look at number three, changing workflow. Well, that's just, yes, you will, there is going to be a changing workflow when you're going from something like Adobe Photoshop to the GIMP or whatever. But even then, you still have to pay eight for Photoshop. You don't have to pay for the GIMP. That can be just downloaded even on Windows. So, what's the... Uh, <coughs> okay, in case of support, mainly it did provide official forums and weekly button windows, provides even live chat and telephone support. Well, yeah, kind of does if you got the money. Yeah. Basic fee, so it doesn't know much apart from donation of the fundings. That's fair enough in a way. But if you go onto any forum, and uh, what I'm actually going to do actually is uh, shut this down because I can do everything on my own machine now, eh? power off. That was just to show you like the install. I've got to install Linux about five times so far and the time it's just taken me to try and set up Windows. So let's just power off the machine which will not harm it. Okay. And we still got Windows running there. Yep. And close secure then it. But if you go to uh say a forum. These are the forums for Peace Linux OS which I'm involved in. That is me there. Hello. Right. Uh, new deploy since post. Let's see what there is. Uh, that's my community release. Let's see there's any problems with it. Enjoy Ali, downloading, very welcome. Downloaded, downloaded links. <laughs> uh, downloading the story V-Box, I haven't tried it in the open. Looks and runs great, really fast, thanks Ali. So I can deploy to him. Uh, oh, very, oops, very welcome. So, yeah. So there are people who do have issues with Linux, you know. Uh, Mr. Cranky Pants is a guy that managed to uh, have a little heart attack. We can say wireless works infrequently and we have the answers there. Sapphire Pools, uh, where he's talking about it. Uh, Ace on Chromebook, getting some soul, new kernel not installing. Well, that's been solved, we solved that for him. Uh, hard reach to form and login. Uh, see Miss Mean for several weeks. But as you can see, I've just thinking it could be a browser issue, we don't know. But yeah, we have forums and we answer each other. But no major upsets there. It was a simple screen recorder. Okay, accessories. Some accessories. Software that we use with might not be a lot, such as Dolby Tears Rail Effects, Spatial Sound, Radio and Real Life, or NVIDIA Shadow. Oh, okay, so it's telling me that um, no Dolby Surround, fair enough. Uh, yeah, Dolby Digital Surround effects provided in Windows and Spatial Sound. Dolby Digital is available for Linux. And this is easily debunked here. So, let me just log into my package manager here. And this is my own package manager. So search AC3, which is Dolby Digital. As you can see, we've got it in FFmpeg, we've got an AC3 decoder, stream decoder, so that's ball. Uh, yeah, media info, media info, GUI, we've got all these here that deal with FFmpeg and therefore deals with AC3. So, no, we have Dolby Digital. Sorry guys, no reason to keep Windows. Another thing as well, uh, Real Live and NVIDIA Shadow Play like interface to record your gameplay within a dedicated encoding hardware GPU provides. Really? Applications Video OBS This is a video um, edited, uh, a video <coughs> studio if you like and it will capture anything that's on the screen, including your games, sounds, etc, etc. And yes, it does hardware encoding using NVENC or the VAAL or whatever. So, yep, yeah, number four, debunked. 
Support by big companies, be a few laptops. Meanwhile, Microsoft could pre install the most laptops. Again, wrong. Let's go to Dell. Big companies, how big do you want it? Dell, one of the biggest computer manufacturers on the planet. Comes with Ubuntu pre installed. HP Linux All in one printers, Dell support, see imaging printing, Dell support, HP Linux, HP Linux the stuff here. Yeah, another major computer company supports Linux. No. So I'm not having that. So no 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 no. Drivers. Windows can always get the driver faster and earlier to buy the manufacturer. Can it really? Can it really? So tell me then, why? That when I install Windows onto this Dell, that I have no networking, I have no... And without networking, how can I go onto the internet and get it? Whereas in Linux, it just runs. Yeah, you're lying to me yet again. Lying to me yet again. And okay, yeah. Let's have a look, just look at something for now. Uh, a load of moves, something. I'll expand. All settings. They've even changed that around. Right, well, updates and security. Let's have a look here. Paused updates for seven days. Okay, let's check for updates. On the wind machine. Yeah, so that's nice to have far more, far, far more drivers out the box for Linux than it is for Windows. Sorry, but that is just a fact. Games, okay. Most anti-repeated, can Linux game? Well, yes, but actually no. Really? Really? Okay. Can it though? Let's get up Steam. Uh, and I do have an update for Steam, so I'll just let that update, and it happens. Yeah, connecting to account, present times, 2009, that's me on Steam, if anybody wants to add me, they can. Uh, can I cover the problem with internet connection or Steam network? It is, but it's all good. Couple parties offline, study son, as my son, yay. Well, hello, it's coming third, you can see Linux. So, he's asking me if I can get run on Steam if you like. So, even he's my son's getting really fed up. So, library home collections downloads, community ping, present arms. Let's go to store, explore, which list created. Okay, store. Door home, popular among friends, blah blah. So, get new clip forever, best game, probably poor pie. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at featured. Let's make this a bit bigger, so everybody can see what I'm looking at, I guess. Okay, games, early access, my PVG, blah, 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 blah. All right, Steam, OS, and Linux, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we're short on games. Uh, it's 80 pages, just for Linux alone, 80 pages. Yeah, that doesn't scrub too much, does it? However, however, do we have things like Proton and stuff like this? Free to play software hub utilities. So we've got the utilities. Uh, app kits and all that. 
Uh, ask for look for a proton. Oops. Right. I'm just looking for actually the settings for this, aren't I? That I'm, I'm being a bit of a, a dimp here, a dildo. Uh, chat and friends, a game, library, community, workshop, market, workshop. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I've forgotten what's Windows 10 doing. Oh yeah, desktop checks, statuses. Yeah, here we go with the downloads. So um, yeah, this may take a while. So yeah, uh, okay let me close that down just for a minute and I'm not a gamer but <coughs> Ah here we go, the Proton database, here we go So let's uh, have a look at this I'll just close off Steve for a minute because it's just running resources I don't actually need Okay, top 10, 50%, top 100, 68% of popular games, and 62% of the top 1,000. 2,000 games reported, 6,000 games were, quite a proton. So, yeah, we have Fallout, we have CD. Let's get started. No Man Risk, Skyrim. Yeah, we're, we're short on games on Linux. Um, we also have something called Lutris. I'm not quite sure if I have Lutris on my machine. I don't. I don't have Lutris installed on my own machine, but that's fine. I can get that in. In fact, no, I won't bother doing the command line because oh, I'll just get shared back. Oh, but you use the command line, you have to use the command line. Yeah can't find stuff on the internet because you have to go out to the manufacturer and all that crap right Lutris was installed install and play any video game easily right apply and apply so I'll just download this it won't take too long it's not a massive download as you can see I'm using a slow internet here so that's Lutris installed and it is yeah you can ignore them because I probably haven't got something installed browsing Lutris net for games to install connecting your Lutris accounts in play manually installed your hard drive. So we'll just have a look at the uh, Lutris.net games. League of Legends, Team Fortress, Portal, Portal 2, Left 4 Dead, Half-Life, Half-Life, Skyrim, Dota, Borderlands, Half-Life, yep, all these are going on. Let's click next. Metro, Witcher, yeah. We are absolutely Stuffed full to the brim of nothingness, aren't we? Really, really, really. So, yeah, games. Windows has the edge on games. Yes, I agree. But to say there's no gaming, then yes and no, and it's hard? No, I'm not having that. Sorry, but yeah. Appearance. Well, I can understand you thinking appearances go favour in Windows, are a lot more customisable. No clicks. But, uh, yeah. Right, yeah, not everything looks pretty. Let's have a look at Windows. Hello, Windows. Right, this looks look. This is a material interface. But let's look for, uh, hang on. 
uh, control panel. Oh, I see. You don't do that. What the actual? Oh, now I've got a big black space at the bottom here. Yeah, right. What? Let me get rid of that. Go away. Personalise. Am I allowed to personalise it without touching it? Yeah, I am actually. No, I'm not. I'm not allowed to. You need to activate. See, so, no. Without activation, you can't do jack on windows. Really. Can I personalise my... Is my thingy ugly? Is my desktop ugly? You can honestly say yes, no, whatever. Is it really? It, did it take me long to beautify this? No, actually it didn't. Uh, if I go to desktop plus here, I'll change my wallpaper by... To change it to anything, I mean, after the FH open, boom, done. Oh, well, hey. There's a wallpaper of a snapshot that I did. Yeah, really. A lot more customizable and everything. You can't tell me about that. Really, you can't. You can't touch it. I can change literally everything I want to change just by using some simple, very simple tools. Things like Alex Appearance will change how things look. I've only got a few in, but there you go. Icon themes, change all my icons, as and if I want. Window border, can change all that, as and if I want. Yeah, right, okay. So, that's that debunked. <laughs> Bugs. Right, yeah, might be not a bit perfect. Have you seen? Okay, let's do this. Just on updates alone, yeah, case more pumps for victims, computers, the updates called Windows 10, blah blah. Uh, CPU run world and all that, yeah, okay. Pump lives with Cortana, yeah. New Windows 10 bug is so singly, and this is on the 24th of October, we're not talking years ago, we're talking now. Uh, it's actually breaking PCs, right bugs, yeah. 17 Windows 10 problems, how to fix it, right bugs. Have you seen me running into any bugs on my Linux? No, really you haven't. So again, talking out of backside, less number of software. Really? Yeah, okay, it doesn't include Adobe Suite, Office or Final Cut Pro, but you can get these installed through uh, Play, Out, Play Out Linux and stuff. Yeah, you can install them, and you don't have to... Like, we've got alternatives to all this anyway. We have... Um, actually, I don't know if I've still got it on here. We have Caden Live and stuff like that. Hang on, let me go to a video here. No, I don't have Caden Live on here. But that can be installable. Uh, it says, uh, Linux and Sears just come out of work around some of these applications, but not fully really used. But they are very unstable. Again, under the lie. Stop it now. Software updates. Don't, don't even joke with software updates. It's just not. Yeah, while in, everything works. Yeah, since when? Since when does everything in Windows just work? No, it doesn't. You're lying. And I've got a video, and I will be happy to show it. Let me go to my YouTube. In fact, I'm just going to power off Windows, and then it could break anyway. And of course, Steam is still downloading, isn't it? Of course it is. Right. Let's just go to my channel. And I do apologise about my internet speed. It's because Steam's uh, still downloading stuff. 
And what, what am I looking for here? Sorry. Uh, software updates? No. Well, everything just works. Yeah, that was it. Thank you. Stop that. Stop that. I'm calling, installing DKM modules is one of mine. So anyway, I want to go back a page tonight. Yeah. Right. I have a video here, somewhere, where I update my own OS from three years ago, or four years ago now, to its current finger, and it didn't break. Not one break, so no, I'm not, see, how fast you want to install, KD, Unbox, Virtual, Void Linux, yeah, Arch Deeping, I mean Arch Deeping, beautiful looking distro. Uh, building my ISOs, uh, quick look at everything, so yeah, uh, stream, Cosmos, looking at Siltas, Obscure, Druga, uh, installing my extremity on bare metal, see, so I've done all these, and somewhere around here, I do have one where I installed and updated from three years ago, is in one of these. So no, I, I can install an old OS from four years ago. Yeah, you try that with Windows, see how far you get, you won't. It don't just work, you're lying. So now you can see if your newcomers want to switch, choice of distribution. Well, that's easy. No, no, seriously, it is. The one they choice is. In fact, no, you don't have 7, 8, 8.1 because they're coming to end the contract. So at the end, all you're going to have is 10. Right, so which Linux distro do you use? Use the one that's most comfortable for you, and by that, with me, it's PC Linux OS. Other people like Peppermint OS, another easy to install Linux. Ubuntu, not my favourite OS, but at the end of the day, it's uh, stable enough, and it does work, and it's easy to install. Salient OS, easy to install. There's just no excuse for the, I mean, almost everything here is not only, it's just so misleading. I just proved that Linux is easy to install. Oh, bootable media center of due boot can be perplexing. Can it? Can it? Creating bootable media. So you can't go on Windows, right, and go to Rufus and install an ISO from in Rufus. Keep away from a computer because you're a moron. Just keep away from computers. If you can't use your computer, keep away from them. Because you're just going to be a bane to somebody. Regardless if you're running Linux or Windows, you're just going to be a bane. Don't do that. Right, learn about your operating system, whether it is Windows or Linux. Yes, Windows does have its advantages for some people. And read some software out there that is absolutely cannot be run on any other OS because that's the way they are tied in. But apart from that, no, I'm not having it. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like or thumbs down. I hope we've uh, enjoyed this little journey. And sorry, it is a long video, but there you go. See you all soon.